Hello, I'm Stephen from unlockresellers.com and in this video we'll show you how to use Sam K code reader to unlock most new Samsung phones that ask for unlock code. The phone that we'll use here is a Samsung Galaxy J5, but exact same method works for most new models like Galaxy S10 or S20 or the new Samsung Galaxy A series. To find if your model is supported and how many credits will cost you for the unlock, just go to their official web and check in the search bar for the phone numeric model. After you order the credits from our website, you will get the user and password you need to log in the software. Later, if you like, you can use the same username and just add more credit. Phone must have USB debugging enabled, so in device manager will show you Samsung Android ADB. If it's not showing, double check you have the Samsung drivers installed. After you start the procedure, you must allow USB debugging when the pop-up shows on your device. Like said before, the unlock procedure is very simple and it's basically the same for all phones. Important is to check before that your device is asking for code when turning with a different SIM. Mostly you will be using the button read codes from the software and I recommend to leave the automatic unlock option selected to make the things easier for you. Recently SIMs you must remove any SIM card from the device or the unlock procedure cannot go forward. In some cases, you might get some instructions from the software, like changing some settings in your device. Also, in rare cases, you might get an error. Then, first of all, I recommend to try one two more times and see maybe it will work. If not, try a different cable or a different USB port, download the drivers from the SAMK web, reinstall them, restart your PC and try again. If it's still not working, check the exact error on the SAMK forum or ask us. At the step waiting for server response normally takes like 1-2 minutes. But we had clients for which the program was stuck at this step and before was a bit programmatic because if the program got close at this you either would have lost the credits or should have contacted the SAMK team and wait to see if they have the code saved in their database. Now it's easier to check if the codes were read successfully because you can make a free account on their website, log in with the user and password you received for the program and there in the account it will show the codes for all the unlocks done with the username. Hope this tutorial will help you and if you need some K credits you can get them at a great price and with full support by making an account on unlockresellers.com.